As both part of my Q&A video series and just people asking me in general, quite a number of you want to know how to make a countdown. Now I could just copy Josh Scorcher's video, as it is a very conclusive guide to making your own countdown, but I'd rather do things a little bit different. I recommend you watch Josh's video before mine if you haven't already, uh, as he covers all the basics. I, however, will be looking at the more specific details of making a countdown. So this is how I make a countdown. Before we start though, I might as well get my hardware and software out of the way. I use a Dell Inspiron 1545 laptop, which isn't too bad for editing, and can even run Team Fortress 2 after a fashion. My editing software is Sony Vegas 11.0, but I did start off with Windows Movie Maker, before switching about a year ago. For grabbing clips off YouTube, I use this little program called Movia. Just google it and download it off the website, it's really good. Getting music used to be a problem for me, but I take the YouTube URL of the music I want to use and run it through YouTube to MP3, which will obviously turn it into an MP3 file. Don't worry, I'll list these websites in the description. I would tell you the microphone I used, but I threw away my instruction booklet almost immediately. I don't know, I, I, it's got a stand, but I recommend getting a good quality headset mic instead. That way you don't have to worry about being too close or too far away from it. I've had a lot of complaints directed at my intro, and just how it's too long or just unnecessary. You don't have to make an intro in your videos, but it does help to identify your videos, so, you know, you might think it'd be a good idea. If you do end up making an intro, I recommend that you don't make it any longer than 30 seconds, because people will get pretty annoyed if they have to wait about a minute for your videos to get going. In terms of music, it's all up to you. If you want an intense intro like, say, mine for example, then you're going to need an intense piece of music with some you know, guitars or chanting choir, I don't know, something like that. But if you want something a little bit more subdued, then pick something a little bit more subtle. It's a bit of a no-brainer, really. As for footage, the best intros have two key elements. Lots of footage within a short space of time, and being synchronised to the music. You don't want to be dwelling on a clip for too long, because it will lose its effect. If you can synchronise the footage to the music, it looks really good and professional. But it is something that is made easy if you have a good understanding of music and meter and all that crap. Lastly, once you've got an intro you like, don't keep making new ones. I know it can be a lot of fun making an intro, but you need a certain amount of continuity in your videos. And unless your name is Logan, and you have 12,000 subscribers, it won't work if you change your intro every other video. Scripting is so goddamn important that it can make or break your video, so you need to be careful with what you say. If we look at the music countdown, you need to say a little more than just I like this because it sounds awesome and epic. You'll have to explain a little bit of backstory and how the music relates to it, and if you can add a bit of music analysis too, it'll look pretty good. For non-music, you just have to explain the entry you've chosen and why you've chosen it. Throw in some over-exaggerated opinions and some jokes, you can't really go wrong. Depending on the topic, you're gonna want to keep a limit on how long you make the entry. If you're dealing with something like um, Easter eggs, for example, that should be within a minute or minute to minute 30 seconds, not too long. If you're talking about an entire game though, you can afford to make it a bit longer because, hey, there's more to explain, it's a whole entire game, I mean, really. Also, make sure that you don't go too off topic when you're explaining whatever it is you're explaining. Just, just get to the point as soon as you can. KABOOM! People on YouTube are both impatient and have very high expectations, so it's likely that you're gonna have to get into vocal countdowns as quickly as possible. You're gonna have to invest in a good quality mic, and not one of those crappy built-in computer microphones. The better the microphone, the greater the quality your vocals will be at the end of it. When recording, take a quick sound check to see how the room's acoustics treat your voice. You'll also be able to hear any background noise, so you can adjust that as well. You know what screw the never, you know what screw the never. During the actual recording, speak clearly, fairly loudly, and at a moderate pace so that people will be able to understand whatever the hell you're saying. 
On the volume bit, be careful with pushing your mic over the edge and distorting your voice, but that's something that can be dealt with during the sound check. One of the best pieces of advice I can give is to be a pedantic arsehole when recording your voice. Are you struggling to pronounce something? Make sure you can get it right, and then make sure it's recorded right. Make a small error? Record it again. Did you cough in the middle of a sentence? Record it again. Was there a small outside disturbance? Record it again. Trust me when I say that the more time you spend on your vocals, the better they'll be in the final video. Remember Top 10 Mario games, that like 26 minute video? That took me over an hour to record the vocals for. Easily the most important part of the video, editing can make your video either an entertaining watch or a chore to sit through. A lot is made of what software you use for editing and honestly, it doesn't matter as much as you think. Yes, you're really going to need something like Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere if you want to take the step up and produce some real quality editing. But when you're just starting out and learning the basics, programs like Windows Movie Maker are fine to use. In fact, my first two vocal countdowns are made in Movie Maker and they've got 92,000 views between them, so it's possible to use for a vocal countdown. The easiest countdown to make is the music countdown. The archetypal music countdown has some pictures, some music, uh, some text explaining the music, and not much else. If you want to be a bit clever, you can add music videos instead of a static picture, just to give the viewer something a bit more interesting to look at. But if you do end up doing this, make sure you actually mix the clips up a bit, rather than playing one video all the way through with no editing. Because honestly, if it's something that doesn't change a lot in a short space of time, it will be just as boring as a still picture. For a non-music countdown, you simply have to match up what you say in the script with relevant footage. The script should make editing a breeze, and it should just be a case of gathering clips and putting them together, with some music and a vocal track. However, with a vocal countdown, there's a lot of other things that can be used as well. Try using clever transitions or a special way of revealing the number text. These sort of countdowns are the best platform for your own style of editing, and you should just do whatever the hell you want. Sprite animations? Go for it. Short music videos before the intro? Yeah, sounds like fun. Play around a bit and find something you like. If I could give one piece of advice, it would be that you get out of this what you put in. It's a combination of hard work, determination and good old-fashioned luck that puts you amongst the heavyweights in this business. It's not the easiest hobby in the world, but as long as you're having fun and have an audience that appreciates your efforts, it can make it so much easier. On that subject, don't let people get to you. When you're starting out, you're going to be making a lot of mistakes, and people will be correcting you on a lot of stuff. As long as you accept the criticism, learn from your mistakes, do your research and refine your techniques, you'll improve in no time. And finally, ignore trolls. They're petty attention seekers and by responding to them, you're giving them the audience they want. I like them, they're so funny. I hope this little guide has been somewhat useful to you. And if you make a countdown using this advice, be sure to post it as a video response to this video. I'd love to watch it. Thanks for watching and thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. What the hell? Where the hell did that come from? Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Take care.